And let's go to the MCG now, where we got the chance to catch up with cricket legend Adam Gilchrist, former Australian wicketkeeper batsman, of course. He's there for the Shane Warne Memorial, which we'll be carrying live from 7 o'clock tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, Gilly. Uh, you must have a real bittersweet sentiments uh, about tonight. You must be looking forward to it, but uh, you must be racked with sadness as well. Yeah, Chris, nice to talk to you. you you're spot on. It's it's quite a, a weird feeling coming down. I think we all know it's going to be a wonderful send-off for a, a larger-than-life character that, that we thought was indestructible. But uh, but we all know the tragic events of uh, March the 4th, uh, Rod Marsh in the morning, a childhood hero of mine, and then Shane Warne, the guy that gave me the greatest cricketing pleasure of my life to wicketkeep to Shane Warne, was the highlight of my cricketing career. So... Um, I think we're all still a little bit stunned and in disbelief, but maybe tonight will help with that uh, grieving process, the healing process, and, and I think it is going to be a celebration, one which Warney would be very, very proud of. Indeed. Look, uh, you, you, I know you've spoken about this before, but there's a really touching link, of course, between the sad deaths of Rod Marsh and Shane Warne, and that is that your last communication from Shane was to congratulate you on the story you did uh, looking back at Rod Marsh's life. That must have been just such a special moment for you. Uh, at the time, it would have been a, you know, a good message from a mate uh, complimenting you on a job well done, but it means so much now in hindsight. Yeah, it certainly does. I think anyone who has um, had a, a friend or a family member pass away, I, I think in this modern day of technology, they'll look at their phones and the messages, voice messages, or even just the phone number, um, and you're spot on, mate. It, it, uh, around midday of that day, uh, the crew at Fox Sports and Fox Cricket did it, put together a really nice tribute, which I had the privilege of providing the voiceover for. And Rod was Rod Marsh was the reason I pursued the career I did. He was my inspiration and childhood hero. So that was a huge privilege. And and even you know to the moment where I received that message from Shane Warne, Shane Warne, Rod Marsh, any of those iconic players, I still always got a buzz when you look at your phone and you see their name appear. So to receive a message from Warney saying uh, church, as he referred to me to, as one of the nicknames <laughs> from within the inner sanctum, uh, he said church, brilliant tribute, uh, really, really well done. So that was the last communication. Uh, it's a message I'll, I'll uh, keep there forever. But, um, yeah, it, it, tonight is about, I think, just remembering all those wonderful memories that he and, and of course, Rod's funeral a couple of weeks ago that those gentlemen have left us with. They left us with so much to enjoy for so long. So that's what we'll cherish from here on in.